guys, how are y'all? Again, our beer video. Change the scenery today just because I was too lazy to pull out the tripod and all that. It's like beautiful outside, so I decided to just do it in my dining room, man. It's, it's a lot less work pulling out, you know, than pulling out the tripods. And hopefully I'm getting good lighting from this decent sized window and like the sun is just amazing outside. Uh, but anyways, before we get into the video, you guys like the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you need to the channel, you like what you see, you want to see more, hit the subscribe button down below for notifications of new videos. Let's get into the beer, man. And I'm going to be talking a little quicker than usual because I have a turkey burger on the grill. And yes, I eat tur turkey burgers. I mean, I eat regular beef burgers too, but turkey burgers as well. But I got Greener Times from Hot Butcher today. It is a 6.5% ABV IPA hopped with Motuika, Nelson Sauvin, and NZH 101. So I'm gonna assume NZH 101 is some kind of experiment, experimental hop, and I'm gonna assume it's from New Zealand, uh, just because of the NZH. So you got can artwork there, very cool. You got some hills, very, very green hills. Then you got the tasting notes in the back there. Nope, so can on 4721, and it says orange and green make what? I remember unboxing this, man. I have no idea what orange and green makes. I still didn't look it up. Um, but yeah, let's get this into a glass. It looks like it smells like it tastes like, man. And it, I said it was scanned on 4 7 21. Today is like five, like the second week of May, man. So like five, oh shit, like 5 14. Let's call it 5 14. So this beer is a month and a week old, man. Let's get this into a glass. There you go. It's good. And of course, you can't see the can because I don't have anything to prop it up on. But We'll uh, still move on and continue through the video, man. Pour with just under two fingers of head, man. Very frothy, very soapy. Check out that head there. Maybe that way. Yeah, there we go. Uh, it's a very nice, bright, vibrant yellow. Like, just very, very, very pale yellow, man. Like, a very pale straw yellow. Just, yeah, different varying sizes of bubbles there. Small all the way up to medium. Maybe not quite large, but medium. It just looks very, very nice. Color of the beer. Putting away from the window, it is this nice New England style IPA, very hazy, bright, vibrant orange. Just, I wouldn't say there's a hint of yellow or anything, it's just a nice, bright, vibrant orange, man. Kind of matches, you know, the sun outside. Very nice. Let's get the aroma. Oh man, the aroma is just amazing too. It's like just nice, very, like the citrusy, but it's like a different citrus. It's very bright, it's very fresh, it's not like like sharp citrus, I say sharp all the time, and when I say sharp, I mean like very zesty, very zingy type of citrus. There's this, like, I wouldn't say dominant, but you definitely get it, this very like dirt smell, like it just smells like dirt. Um, I'm not sure if that's like the new NZH 101 hop or what, but it's kind of, I guess, reminds me of uh, Nelson Sauvin, because you know, it imparts white grape flavors, and then when I think about grapes and grape vines, it kind of just Think about you know where they're located, where they're grown, just very uh, in like a dirt field basically, right? So I mean that's fitting, I suppose. Okay, there we go. I'm getting some herbals, like herbaceous spiciness. Yeah, I'm gonna go with the like green bell peppers, just very herbaceous spice, not like you know hot spicy, but more just like spices, like pepper, salt, things like that. Very faint apricot, or peaches even, nectarines, just very, very faint, man. I'm not sure if nectarines have a smell, actually, but if it does, it's probably very faint, because I don't remember smelling a nectarine. Nectarines are great. Too bad I'm allergic to them now. But yeah, just all those, it just smells very nice, man. It smells pleasant, just different. Let's get to the beer. I didn't get any like great vibes from this, but let's hope we can get it on the flavor. Cheers. Yeah, I mean, light, easy drinking beer, but full of flavor. I didn't get any grapes on that sip, but I did get citrus, and citrus, like I said, man, it kind of basically followed the nose. It's not very zingy, it's not very zesty. Citrus is there, but it's not like, uh, very acidic, harsh citrus, I suppose. Very little bubblegum vibe happening, man. Very little. Oh yeah, I'm getting some grapes now. Towards the end on that sip, it's like that bubblegum flavor kind of just 
melts or mellows out into that great flavor. And I absolutely love Nelson and Hop Sabin, man. So I'm really glad that you know, I'm just able to pick up some of it in here. Yeah, that faint apricot, or maybe I'm gonna go with apricot. Uh, the apricot flavor works very, very well with everything that's in here. The citrus, not overwhelming apricot, you know, subtle, but definitely there. And then the bubble gum white grape flavor ties everything very, very well together, man. It's a slightly dry beer, but not too, not like incredibly dry or anything like that. That, and there's slight hoppiness to this. It's not a whole lot of hoppiness. I wouldn't say it's a, I guess it's more or less a juice bomb with slight hoppiness. And it's not like the juice is like very, very dominant. It's not a juice dominant beer, but compared to like a traditional IPA, I would say this is a juice bomb in comparison. And it's just like a very easy, nice drinking beer. 6.5% ABV, so it's definitely not low in alcohol, but it does not drink like a double. Uh, I guess it's nearing a double, but not quite. It just, it's a very easy drinking beer, man. And just refreshing, just good for a day like this, man. It's like 82 outside, 83. Yeah, it's just a little bit of that herbace herbaceous grassiness going on but that, I don't know if that's coming from the new hop or not maybe Nelson Savin or maybe what's the other one Motiika not too familiar Motiika Nelson Savin I just know it you know gives off that great flavor that I like um, but yeah man uh, Motiika must give off some kind of citrus or maybe that's the NZH 101 but yeah very very delicious beer very crushable very refreshing very glad that I was able to pick up uh, the white grapes from this just a very solid, solid drinking beer, man. So that said, man, this was Hot Butchers Greener Time 6.5% ABV IPA brewed with Motuika, Nelson Sabin, and NZH 101, man. If you guys like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Comments, questions, leave them below. And as always, dream your dreams and believe all things are possible. Cheers.